connect with us now let's start the very first question everybody okay given a question from simple interest a person lent a personal loan at 8.5 percent per annum simple interest in 20 years the interest amounts to 6300 more than the loan lent what was the sum lent? fine so first of all what is this 8.5 percent which is nothing but our rate of interest and what is this 20 years which is nothing but n which is the given number of years now here most of the people do commit a mistake at this point called taking this 6300 as the amount but is this basically the amount no this is not the amount everybody if you take the amount as 6300 rupees you'll completely be wrong why right. given very clearly the interest amounts to 6300 more than the loan amount so they are saying that for the 20 years the interest is more loan that he has taken plus 6300 rupees more is that clear my dears everybody so this is the simple interest that's been added now so do you know the principal amount that he has lent no so let the principal be p since we have taken here p for everybody and given number of years are 20 and given rate of interest is 8.5 percent is now Taking the formula that we have only uh, in simple interest is SI is equals to PNR upon 100. Now, substitute the values. Yes, SI, I know that as principal length plus 6300 is equals to principal is P into 8.5% per 100 percent is by 100 into N is 20. 21s are 25s are 5 ones are 5 1.7s are. Right? All I have is. 6300 plus p is equals to 1.7 times of p now 6300 is 0.7 times of p now so that's going to give me how much everybody i have to multiply 10 on both the sides to eliminate the decimal so when i uh multiply 10 on both the sides that's going to give me 7p is equals to 63,000, and principal is how much everybody 9000 so the principal the sum he lent is nothing but rupees 9000 look what's the toughest job the toughest job is taking the elements or the taking the numbers given as a right uh, terms everybody if you take one as the other will definitely be wrong and your entire time that's been taken will be wasted so please be very careful whenever you are choosing the terms especially in simple interest or common interest so when they say amount to that doesn't mean it will be a directly an amount of right so you have to carefully understand each and every term that is given and this is what everyone would have tried with so this is basically a general method where it will take more time. But we have a very, very fine shortcut, everybody, that can be applied. What is that? Look, given 8.5% per 20 years. So the total interest, what can be, everybody? 8.5% times of 20, that would give me how much? 170% is yes or no. Now, so this is the total interest that we'll be getting. Now, the principal will always be 100% and is getting 170% means what is the difference, everybody? The difference is nothing but 70% uh, is. And this difference is nothing but he is getting extra. So, than, than the lower amount. So, that definitely says whatever the principal he lent uh, and whatever he is getting, he is getting 6,300 more. That everybody so that says the difference is nothing but 6300 which is 70 percent if 70 percent is 6300 what is 10 percent 10 sevens are 10 nines are so that's going to give you 900 if 10 percent is 900 what is the 100 percent principal everybody that is nothing but 9000 which is option isn't it really an amazing technique everybody hope you have thoroughly thoroughly understood this example right so for more such six you should definitely be subscribing to our channel, everybody, and you'll get more such content. I hope you have thoroughly understood this question. Now, moving on to the next one. Okay, a question from uh, logical reasoning this time. Each of six students from A to F are reading two subjects, one compulsory and one optional, where sociology is one of the subjects by E and F. Okay, English is F's compulsory subject, which is optional for C and D. Hindi and geography are A subjects, but reverse to those of D in terms of compulsory and optional. All right. That says Hindi and geography are the subjects of A and the subjects of D, but the optional and the compulsory are reverse for A and D. 
if a is a uh, compulsory is hindi the vice versa is for the that's what given psychology is the optional subject of the one only one student and geography is the optional subject of d while it is compulsory for three others what is the compulsory subject of d fine so look this is nothing but data arrangements question so whenever you have such data arrangements you need to be very careful by arranging the data now let's take the six students that we have like a b c d e and f now these are the students i have now so i'm going to take the compulsory and optional as the other two rows that i can write over here everybody so compulsory and optional so these are the extra two columns that i'm going to take right my dears extra columns now so here i'll just write whatever the subjects that belongs to what person now given first one sociology is one of the subjects by e and f okay sociology is one of the subjects for e and f means for english uh, like e and f i have sociology as one of the subjects but do i know what is optional or like uh, we sociology is optional for e and f no i am not so sure about that so i'm just writing over here so come on next subject so they read two subjects and on one of the subjects now given english is f's compulsory subject all right when english is f's compulsory subject uh, what is sociology will become everybody sociology will be optional if i'm not wrong right there you go one thing is done now comma which is optional for c and d what is optional everybody what is optional the subject called english is optional for c and d so for c and d if the english is optional here it is be english and here it should be english now what is the compulsory for uh, compulsory subject for e everybody and that's nothing but sociology hope you understood everybody till here right that is nice now moving on to the next one information given hindi and geography are a is uh, but a subjects but just reverse of of those d is in compulsory and optional a is your d is your a and d both read hindi comma geography similarly hindi comma geography but i am not so sure whether which is optional which is like compulsory now moving on to the next one everybody uh, psychology is optional subject for only one student okay i am not so sure who does read that psychology actually so just let it be aside and given geography is the optional subject of d if geography is the optional subject of d what should be the compulsory subject of d everybody it should be hindi now the vice versa goes for a everybody i can write geography should be a compulsory and optional should be in the everybody clear that is done now so geography is the optional subject of d why it is compulsory for three others okay if geography is the optional subject for d and compels for the three who is the other three everybody who are going to read geography for sure exactly geography must be compulsory for the other three means a b c are the only three people we have because we all know who was the other three who read the other three subjects so geography here geography here look to answer this question definitely you need to arrange everything before so that that that's how you can answer the the question on the person for b so what is a compulsory subject of b the compulsory subject of b is geography and if you observe there is no such option also you have to write over here in the blank so in the blank you have to type the answer called geography is that clear everybody now what if they ask what is the optional subject of b come on everybody what if the optional subject of b the only optional subject of b is psychology because given psychology is only the optional subject of one person that is nothing but b psychology goes here is that clear so to answer this question also i need to check out everything i hope you clearly understood both the questions everybody and this is how you can arrange data go with the connected clues right like how exactly i went look i went connected at times whenever it is required for example e and f i got no uh, sociology for f and then i connected immediately for e and then i got no d and then i immediately connected for e so if you go on keeping checking for the connected clues it is very easy to write the indirect clues or the non specified things for right, everybody so hope you thoroughly understood both the questions everybody and uh, do like share subscribe and comment for the video everybody if you thoroughly like, enjoyed the questions like the session and please share it to your friends so that they will also get it thank you for watching this video.